All right, back to basics. Going to show a bunch of sports cards, a hundred of them to be exact, but I'm going to break it up over uh, four videos, 25 each, a countdown of sorts, end of year countdown, something that I, I skipped last year. So, you know, nothing new. If you've been with, with me for a long time, you know, you've seen all this before, uh, but just making some of these videos to maybe attract some new viewers to the channel. And, um, you know, counting down from 150 to 51, because the top 50 this year is going to be reserved for a, a joint uh, or a collaboration with three other guys that you're familiar with, uh, Rated Rookie, Josh, uh, Joe, Silver Jackify, and uh, Baseball Collector Mike. We talked about getting together for a sort of a Clash of the Titans showdown over probably on Mike's channel. Um, we still haven't decided on when we're going to do that. And that'll be 50 cards. Um, broken up over the course of five videos, 10 cards each person. That's 40 cards a video. That's probably enough uh, for a video. So anyway, uh, let's get started here. And um, again, this is going to be 25 cards. Prices on these, I haven't updated in a while. So whatever, don't flame me if uh, you know something shouldn't be where it is. But coming at number 150 for me is the Nolan Ryan. I got a few Ryans in here, actually. Um, 1972 tops. And a nice... PSA 8 grade, and then another Nolan Ryan right after 1973, also one of PSA 8. I, I have his basic run, I think, or his uh, his base card run, um, and I put that together a long time ago, but this is a card that has uh, fallen quite a bit. In fact, it might even be, I have this one at like six hundred dollars here right yeah i have i have 597 dollars for this card uh ronald acuna jr man this was a big card i think it peaked i want to say like around two thousand dollars you know like four years ago three four years ago um i'm still way ahead i bought it for like two and a quarter but um yeah still a nice card an important card i think from the modern era I guess this one's pretty tough because of where it's located in the uh, cellophane wrap deck. That is the 1987 Donruss Rookies set. This one's Bo Jackson. Um, tough to get, I guess, the uh, non-touched corners. I, I just picked this up, like, randomly. It wasn't even a big deal. This is, like, a cheap four-sharp corners purchase. Um, I don't remember, but it was, certainly it wasn't maybe, like, $30 or something. 87 Donruss. Here's one that's difficult to price. Got it in the CGC slab or CSG slab it was at the time. This John Elway autograph, I think it's numbered to like 40. Um, I don't see that anywhere on here. Doesn't mean it's not there, it just means I just can't see it, but I think it's an SP. Um, and he was in the Yankees farm system at one point, uh, early, early 40 years ago, I think 82 more than four years ago, before he turned pro NFL. So John Elway. Uh, oops. All right, checking in at card number 145 is Pete Rose. 1966 tops. Probably be... Uh, like into the Hall of Fame, the next chance he gets, I would imagine, now that he's passed away. And I suspect that's what everybody was waiting for before he'd be voted in. I don't know. Um, I think he deserves to be in there a long time ago, but here we are. Uh, 64 Mickey Mantle, PSA 6, self submitted. Oh, 20 years ago now, maybe at this point almost. Paid like $200 for it raw. Ungraded. And I got the six. Basketball card here, 94 finest, Michael Jordan, without the coating. And that was by design. That's the one I wanted. I think with the coating, it's worth more, but I think it makes the card look kind of ugly with all the letters and the words diagonal, you know, across the card. So this one, no coating, but the PSA 10, nonetheless, from 1994. Classic card here, George Brett, rookie card. 
I feel like the color is a little bit washed out. Stuff I didn't pay attention to back in the day when I would buy cards, you know. Um, I think it's one of those cases where I wanted an 8 and it was centered well enough. But I don't know. Does that color look good? It seems like it's a little bit, I don't know, washed out. Not very vibrant. But an 8 nonetheless. Strong grade for that. Ted Simmons. Rookie card. Now in the Hall of Fame. I anticipated his election to the Hall of Fame. I think it was several months prior to that vote. And I figured I better get it now before it really jumped up. And this one, I think it was like around 200 bucks. Um, and now it's, where do I have this guy? Ted Simmons. And this might not be 100% accurate, but I've got Ted Simmons at $630 as of July 24th. So four months ago. I know a lot's changed in the hobby. It seems like prices keep coming down, which is fine. They're normalizing. Um, so yeah, again, my apologies if I'm not entirely up to date on where these really should be ranked. Here's a, this card was a huge card. Oh, Maron, this was like a, I think this was like a $5,000 card at one point. This Tom Brady tops Chrome during the peak. Now it's, I mean, geez, it's like 700, I think. What I have here? Um, well, I got it at 636. It's a random number, but yeah, clearly huge, huge. Uh, drop on paper. Now, for me, I got this and I got the other one, the the, uh, the card 150, which is the weekly recap. I got them both for like 160 bucks. So whatever. I mean, this. Yeah, maybe I should have sold this at five grand or four grand and then repurchased it later on. But I didn't have that kind of foresight, and it's hard for me to part with my cards. I just don't want to sell anything. So, um, yeah. And here's another Jordan from Finest again without the coating. The coat without the coating. What's going on with my focus here? There we go. And this guy, this guy is card number 139. Michael Jordan from 1985, finest. One of my favorite Yankees cards, probably my favorite Munson card, even more so than the uh, the uh, 71 tops. I don't know what's going on with my focus. But anyway, there it is. Any good? Bought it a long time ago. You see the centering is typical craptastic for a 73 uh, on the back. And like $80. Definitely under 100 bucks, whatever year that was. My first of two Sports Illustrated for Kids, probably both overpays. I mean, it's hard to price. I mean, I don't even know how you grade these. With a card like this with the perforated edges... What's the difference between an 8.5 and a 9 or an 8? I mean, honestly, I see like 4s and 6s that look like this, you know? Um, but Serena Williams, obviously, and this is, uh, I, know, I guess, kind of an important card. I mean, she considered the GOAT in tennis. Very first card. 8.5. I think this sent me back like 800 bucks. I don't think it's, it's not that now. Um, again, it's hard to price these things, so, but I wanted it, uh, and that's the one I chose because it matches the Tiger Woods, which is coming up after this Charles Barkley here from 86 Fleer. This, this thing was like, I don't know, what, $3,000 or $4,000 in a nine back in 2020, 2021? It's crazy. I bought it for like 240 250 and I have it here. At six ninety nine, I wouldn't be surprised if it's worth even less now. And these are prices from July that I, I went through this with. Now here's the Woods. I think this is a cool card. Looks good on the SGC slab. This one was like eleven hundred bucks. And it's definitely not, I don't think it's worth that now, but it doesn't matter. I'm not selling. Um, Bob Clemente, Roberto Clemente, 1967 tops. Just a really nice eight. And Mr. Clemente here checks in at card number 134. Another nice one. Classic 85 
Tops. Pocket Rookie. I prefer the um, the basic tops over the Tiffany, even though the Tiffany are worth more. Oftentimes you see those cards and they've yellowed o over time and uh, they don't look good, I don't think. I actually have the Pucket Tiffany in a nine and it clearly has yellow edges. I like the bright white borders of the cardboard. So um, moving on, another Bob Clemente from 1960 tops. Centered okay. And um, we are at card number 131, and it's my Frank Robinson rookie card. A little bit off-center. But it was cheap at the time. It was like $300. Um, went up, came back down. I mean, it's the resale value now is certainly more than 300 It's... Uh, uh, Frank, I got it like 740 bucks. This is Frank Robinson, another vintage card. My favorite Pete Rose card. The 64 tops with the Rookie Cup trophy. Really difficult to find centered. I mean, this one is might be as good as it gets. It's, I guess you wanted to nitpick and really scrutinize it. Top and bottom might be a little bit off, but otherwise, left to right looks pretty good to me. Nice 6.5 grade. And then up next, we got uh, Michael Jordan coming in at 129. Finest. Another big card at one time. Like any basketball card, any modern basketball card, basketball cards in general, man, they just went nuts. In fact, I have a video that I made right at, right about the peak, um, like three, more than three years ago. It's like my top 50 NBA basketball cards or something. It's got like a picture of like, you know, Barkley and Jordan and such. And, and I actually go through the prices and I'm just, even, I'm just like bewildered at the prices I'm seeing and saying, yeah, this card's worth four grand or this Kevin Durant is worth, you know, three grand. It was just ridiculous, you know, if you went through that, like a lot of us did. Here's a really nice judge card. I really wanted a 10 on this. Um, I submitted this in like 26, 2016. Like <laughs> it's from 2017, but I submitted it in 2016. Um, I think it was that year I purchased this in April. And I remember, like, how many hauling. Do I want this one or do I want the Topps Heritage autograph one? And um, this was, like, 40 bucks, And the Heritage was 50 bucks. You know, the Blue Ink Auto. I like the way this one. I just like, this just looks better to me. Um, this looks really nice. Aaron Judge. One of, I mean, how many rookie cards does this guy have? So this is a card, actually, I think for sure would not be ranked where it is here. I have this priced at... Um, Seven hundred and sixty dollars, but I think I did like a quick glance at a few of these, and this one had sold for like you know over a thousand dollars recently. I mean, maybe it's come back since the series, since that fifth inning. Uh, maybe a lot of these these Yankee rookies, uh, Soto, rookie card, and judges. Maybe they come back down again. Um, Bryce Harper. PSA 9, I like this one. It's got a lot of rookie cards as well. This comes in at 127. And then lastly, I got uh, Jim Cott, a rookie card from 1960 Tops. Coming in at 126, and that will conclude this particular episode so three more to come here on my channel and then at some point god knows when uh the me and those three other stugats will get together and put together a you know a, a sort of a again a showdown of our top 50 uh tbd uh but in the meantime uh thanks for watching i'll uh, talk to you soon